Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Brad over here at Chattanooga Fishing Fun. Here at Fishing Fun, we sell Ranger boats and Lance truck campers. I've got a beautiful sunny day here to do a video. It's hot as Satan's nutsack out here, but uh, we're going to bear through it. Also, I received this beautiful camper here in on trade the other day. It's a 2018 Lance 975. Uh, we took it on trade on a 2022 Lance 1172. Uh, both of these bad boys right here required uh, the fat butts to haul them. So right here, this one comes in weighing about 4,046 pounds shipped. Uh, so that'd be dry weight and we'll get the wet weight here when we go inside. So anyways, this is actually probably one of the cleanest, cleanest trade-ins I've ever received. The only other trade-in that was in better shape than this one was the 21,960 that I received on a 22,960. So, um... Yeah, this is like right there at number two on cleanest trade-ins received. So that's good news for the, you know, the next buyer. But um, anyways, you're probably wanting to know price. I don't know that yet. By the time I upload this video, I'll know the price. So you can give me a call at 423-892-6272. If you're looking for ballpark, all I know is it's going to be over 40000 So that kind of gives you an idea of what to expect when you call me. But yeah, if you're in the market for a 975, I doubt there's a cleaner 18 out there. This guy really took care of his stuff. I'm not just saying that either. All right, so like I was saying, this, this truck camper right here requires a long bed dually. Lance says that you can put it in a, a one ton single rear wheel, but I'll let you be the judge of that. Like I said, it's 4,046 pounds dry. Requires the long bed, so that would be your eight foot bed. Remove the tailgate to haul them. We've got all electric jacks around all, all four corners. It's the Atwood Heavy Duty Series. So yes, all four are electric. Uh, we've got the swing out brackets to park the fat butts behind them. This is uh, Lance's little custom wiring harness that they um, install for their campers only. We actually installed the truck side plug here for you. So you don't have to worry about that getting that done somewhere else. The 975 is one of the three current production models that actually have a dry bath also. Uh, this is going to be the single slide out uh, camper model. There we go. You can see it. Uh, the slide out is on the driver side away from the campground side. Patio light. Alright, so we got our batteries on the outside of the camper over here. These are two deep cycle interstate batteries easy to access have a little storage compartment over here next to the battery compartment as you can see the 30 amp cord comes with it magnetic holders up here to hold the door up and as you can see it's an insulated door hatch so on the opposite side of this is going to be the dinette and that's uh, what supplies heat to this a part of the four season package give you a little side view also 2018 for all the uh, pre-rev lovers, this is your dream come true right here. This is a pre-rev Lance for everybody that thinks that these are better than the new ones. And these have the glass windows also for everybody that doesn't like the uh, new acrylic windows. So this one's definitely got, got its pluses for everybody that wants to rag on the new ones. All right, so you've got your liquid body water tank cold and hot water drains in this door here you've got a total of 45 gallon fresh water capacity uh, liquid waste is going to be your gray tank so that is a 30 gallon capacity body waste that's going to be 26 gallon capacity and that's uh, the doo-doo tank uh, you've got your main battery disconnect here parking satellite connections external shower for all my freaks of nature that like to shower outside um, let's see you can also use that for rinsing the dog off rinsing off utensils and stuff from cooking outside that's what I use it for uh, let's see what uh, fresh water tank drain again that's 45 gallon cold and hot water line drains this right here that says turn and pull that's where you connect your 30 amp cord to produce AC for your camper this one also has an onboard Jenny and I'll show you that here in a minute all right back here Everything's a lot easier to get to while it's on the truck and the slide out's in. Uh, you've got your city water connection. That's going to be the white one. 
The black one is the Blackwater flush system. So you can also hook a hose to that and flush your black water tank, but I don't suggest using the same hose. That's nasty, don't be doing that. All right, on the back here, we've made it uh, this far. Let's see, we got the rear power awning. It has an LED light strip built in at the end of it. Very convenient. I like to aim it towards the lake when I'm fishing at the lake. Just picture a lake over there and not like a dry desert. Um, helps me see my catfish rod, the tip uh at night so very useful there i love that i'm saying that because i own a 975 um if you're new to the channel and didn't know that i own this exact camper model right here love it uh let's see rear docking lights rear patio light uh that also lights it up at night very nice uh got this nice little pegboard here in this uh storage door I'm pretty sure I've measured this before. I think it's like seven inches in depth and a lot more than that up. I don't remember exactly, but obviously that's more than seven inches, but it's seven inches in depth. That's the main thing. Uh, let's see. I usually put my fishing rods and stuff in here and then you can get those little pegs to hang up, you know, uh, packets, uh, like zoom packets and stuff. Or you could, you know, use it for whatever. All right, so this customer that traded this one in didn't skip on any options. They also got the Ultra Deck. Some people get these 975s without the Ultra Deck, and I have no idea why. It'll save you about 2,900 bucks not getting it, but nobody buys the Lance to save money, so I don't understand it. Um, you can still tow with the Ultra Deck. You just get a larger extension. You would need an extension anyways uh, to haul a boat or trailer behind you so this is very big plus to have i love it on mine mine's actually over there with a big sports rack compartment there or a holder forgot what that thing's called anyways the ultra deck's very nice addition what i do is i put my uh water hoses in there my 30 amp cord uh, doggy bone adapters everything that i don't mind getting wet because these are not dry boxes um they're just nice to have extra storage. All my uh, dog stuff goes in there, like your dog bowls and the crap that goes outside. This also slides out, making a little bit more of a deck there. This customer added two sewer hose compartments. You can get a 10-footer in each of those. Give you a closer look. There you go. And then a little hitch off to the side for your bike rack. This one also has the onboard generator. That's a 2,500 watt generator that runs on propane. So you can run the AC, the microwave, and anything that requires AC off of AC while not plugged in. Has the four season package. Uh, so you can camp it in all seasons without freezing up. All you do is run that heater or furnace on low while you're not in it or not using it and nothing's gonna freeze up. It's got a heated basement and heated compartments that supplies heat to all your water tanks and water lines. We'll go up on the roof here in a minute. Skipping over here to the campground side, you have this massive 12 foot awning on the side here with a built in uh, light strip at the end also, just like the rear one. This one has auto wind sensing, so it rolls itself back in uh, if it gets too windy. Very convenient. I'm sure you've seen a few campground disasters where other campers did not have that got a little storage compartment here I put my boot scraper and leveling blocks in this one on mine two propane tanks right there those are 20 pounders uh, let's see what else hand warmer for uh, cold weather and he already added the uh, bug guards to it too this is going to be your access door for your water pump, winterization uh, station there. Little hose comes out and you stick that in the pink stuff. But yes, uh, heat is supplied to this compartment if you can see that back there. That's where you fill your freshwater tank. Again, that's 45 gallon capacity. And then this is going to be your service area for your hot water tank. Outdoor speaker so we can take off the neighbors and i'm sure you want to see the roof i'll give you a little back view of this all right let's 
go check out the roof. Oh, wait, one other thing. This one's got the external propane connection right there too. All right. All right, this one's got the roof rack system so you can tie down one of those guys up here or your kayaks. TV antenna, auto satellite. And this is a fully walk-on roof, no soft spots whatsoever. Uh, he added, uh, looks like a, I thought that was Max there, Camco, Camco uh, cover there for his bathroom vent. One solar panel, I believe that's the 95 watt solar panel. And then you have room for another over here. Skylight. And then you have a slide out awning cover. And then this is the I want to say the 11k AC unit. It says on the build sheet somewhere. I believe it's the Coleman Mach 11. All right, so headed in the 975 here. This one is Passage Interior. We'll take a look at what Passage look, look, looks like here in a minute. You've got this massive basement door. Your 975 and your 1062 have this. Then you have a garbage can as soon as you walk in, so you don't have to hunt too far for a can when you're ready to throw your crushed ones away. Just chilling over here with the boys or something, you come over here, crush it, and that definitely will hold at least a case of crushed. Got all of your exterior light switches here, slide out switch, main, main, uh, what do you call that thing, light? Main light switch, backup camera switch, that guy's hanging out right there. Docking lights. Key rack. Let me demonstrate that. This one's a uh, big old key rack. There you go. All right, so over here to the right, this is where your kitchen area is at. Plenty of prep space here when you're not using the sink. You have a pretty good prep area over here with your sink covers and everything when you're not using it to prep or towing and want those out of the way you can have your little sink here some people prefer a separated sink some prefer the open bowl this is an open bowl model and then when you're wanting to put those back they just slide in just like that all right above here we have our radio and dvd player Control panel for your water pump, water heater on gas and electric, battery levels, uh, where you check your fresh black and gray water levels. This is where you run the generator. It's got only 7.2 hours on it. And then this is where you control your awnings. Both are power. Right over here, we've got a nice cabinet area for, uh, I've actually put all my paper plates and paper towels and solo cups in there in this one but you can put anything as far as what i do or you know cooking pans cookware stuff like that oh mine don't have that that looks like an add-on that's nice there's a paper towel holder there microwave pretty sure it's just standard size hood three burner stove top super clean and an oven uh, let's see there's our solar panel let's see solar monitor 13.5 volts 1.4 amps 100 percent charge looking good all right so this one actually has a slide out pantry they did away with this in all the new models so this one was lucky enough to get one but yeah, there's your slide out pantry. You have several racks where you can pick the level that you run it at. Take it back in there, lock into place. All right, this is where you get all your uh, weights right here. This sticker right here. No guessing, if, ands, or buts. This camper weighs 4,397 pounds with factory installed equipment and weight, excess, blah, blah, blah. This weight includes 413 pounds of water and propane doesn't include stuff that 
could weigh less than 20 pounds totaling as much as 150 pounds all right you see it i'm giving you the weights right there this fits any one ton long bed truck uh, lance says it can go in single rear wheel i recommend the dually the more meat on the ground the better but uh if you want to run it in a single rear wheel there's plenty of people out there doing it so i don't have a crystal ball i don't know what your truck can handle i don't know every payload's different truck to truck so that's something that you're going to have to check and then call me and i'll give you everything you know, need to know as far as weights and everything but you make the final decision now that we got that out of the way these open sideways everybody wants to pull these out like that but if you go look at a 975 just remember these pull out sideways little storage door there that's probably good for some liquor bottles all righty dinette let me get some of this stuff all right like i said this is your dinette right here this is your passage interior option i believe for this year you had passage mystic shores and roadster to choose from this would be your passage this was one of the most popular options given that there's only three options so all right so underneath your dinette you have storage you just push these buttons in to unlock pull out on it then you have quite a bit of storage there's your backup camera box and other goodies then you just press that button back in to lock it same with this one over here push in pull out This does make into a bed. I forget the dimensions, but my little brother goes with me uh, on my camping trips and he sleeps on the dinette just fine. I think he's about six foot right under, uh, right under me. These are day and night shades. There you go, that's how that works. Hard to do one handed though. There we go. Well, I got the clock on the wall, this nice cork board. Cool. Doesn't look like it's ever had anything poked in it. Then you got your AC outlets over there, USB and DC outlet. Uh, this runs on this switch right here. Got a couple of LED lights that you can set the mood. Nice. All right, backing away from that. Got us a nice TV over here, 28 inch. You pull this little lanyard here, that unlocks it. You can swing it towards the bed area, or you can see it over here. You can even twist it around, or you can see it from the dinette. Very flexible, nice. Then it just locks into place. Uh, let's see. I believe they call these like DVD magazine holders, something like that. I say that because you could put either either or in there. There's your remotes. Let's see. Moving on. Okay, got our three-way fridge here. This fridge right here is set up to run on gas, AC, or DC. Very sizable fridge. Looks just like mine. Not much has changed since uh, 2018 to 2021 like mine. 2022, I've even seen them. There's not much change as far as layout, just color. All right, right here is going to be your bathroom. I do notice that they deleted this mirror on the bathroom door in the newer models. But uh, right here, you've got your shower. This is what you call the dry bath, by the way. You're not sharing a... Uh, shower and toilet so you get to shower away from the toilet but i mean even in wet baths there's pluses all right this is going to be your shower area and then there's the john got a nice little medicine cabinet in here there you go towel holder that was built in by the customer very neat i like that and a broom holder sink with some countertop space now you're probably asking where the ac outlets are you don't see one up here boom right there then over here there's your water heater that's where they hide uh hide your toilet paper then a little drawer here for your toothpaste and all that good stuff
little step to help you get up into the bed area this bed right here is a queen size mattress it's a true 60 by 80 inches so it is a true queen little storage door over here you can take the shelves out if you want to help put your luggage in or you can leave the shelves in got a closet over here a little shelf space up top a little pull up door over there slide out door over there with a, a countertop AC outlets AC outlets so the 975 is very CPAP friendly got AC outlets on both sides up there for the CPAP users um, and of course phone users you need AC for your phones too the chargers I get it been there done that but anyways this is the 2018 Lance 975 truck camper again this one requires a, a long bed one ton Lance says it can go in a single rear wheel I recommend a dually but there's plenty of people out there running it in a single rear wheel truck long bed so I don't know what your payload is like I said I don't have a crystal ball telling me hey this customer has a 4,000 pound payload or maybe this customer has a 2,000 pound payload or this one has 5,000 hey I don't know you're gonna have to look in that inside door jam and then you let me know what you're rated for uh, all I can tell you is what the camper weighs so like I said uh, this is 2018 975 if you're in the market looking for one of these bad boys I've got it won't be here long I do know that with the way the market is um, and pricing I'll have that by the time you call me uh, but I know it's gonna be over 40 um, I just uh, we don't have all that stuff quite worked up just yet so give me a call 423-892-6272 my name's Brad I work over here at Chattanooga Fishing Fun uh, we sell a lot of these Lance campers. It's actually what we specialize in here. So um, we're very familiar with the Lance units. Give me a call. Uh, if you're still watching for some reason, that means you might uh, actually like the video, might be interested. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Let YouTube know that I might know what I'm talking about. Might be enjoyable to watch. If you have any questions, comment below or call me or email me. All that's going to be in the description. Uh, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If you want to see another one of my videos for some reason you can also hit the notification bell that lets you know when i upload another video uh i think that's about it until next time y'all stay safe take care and i'll catch you on the next one